I'm here with Udni, and uh, she's an MBA too. She interned this summer at Amazon, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her experience at Amazon. Um, so what kind of experiences would you like to share? Um, I think the, the most important or the most challenging aspect of the project to me was when I went to Amazon, I expected to find a direction just because I have a big MBA class. Mm -hmm. But when I got there, I joined a team that had never had an MBA intern before, that didn't have MBAs, but never built products. That's surprising. Sort of a Amazon has just, we just sent so much people right. to Amazon. I thought everybody would know how to work with them. Apparently, you went to a team that didn't really know right. how to do that. You know, okay. just all 80 or 100, you know, amongst 80 or 100 people, like, you know, in the team, no one had had an wow. MBA before or worked with an MBA intern. So, so that was quite challenging. So how did you go about uh, carving a niche for yourself there? I started by asking my managers and other people I was going to be working with what they needed, what the problems they were trying to solve was. Mm -hmm. I asked them a set of questions and asked them what they would like to have learned from me at the end of three months. Mm -hmm. And then I looked at the set of questions to see what was I best positioned to answer in three months versus some of the other managers who were already there. And I identified a few things. Definitely primary was doing a market, doing market research mm -hmm. and doing a deep analysis of the, the market they were looking into entering and also speaking with customers. And I thought that um, I'd be better to, to speak with customers because I was new to the team. I had an objective view. I had no previous biases. So um, that, you know, I thought that would help. I thought that's interesting that you essentially had to um, take charge of your own internship mm -hmm. by asking your manager what they wanted from you. Right. Pretty good. That's a pretty good tactic for somebody who's going into a team that maybe does not know how to deal with it. So, I think uh, the one thing that has helped is that a lot of the managers there had a good business sense too. Yeah. So I, when I needed, I always had counseling. Yeah. But I get got set direction, and I was just really surprised by how much control I had in the project. Mm -hmm. And one again, um, the Matt project really helped. It was some, very similar to what I've done in Matt. Um, we worked with a, you know, we worked with a company that had hadn't had had done Matt before, but we were looking at a new problem. So with the help of a professor, we were able to identify steps to solve the problem. And mm -hmm. some of those actually applied directly to our internship. Interesting. So you also had carved out for yourself uh, the task of talking to customers. Right. Now, off the bat, I, I, when you say market analysis, I say, yeah, of course, MBA is market analysis. But then talking to customers, how did you, um, you give yourself that task? I thought it was um, Amazon prides itself as being a customer-centric company. Mm -hmm. And I felt that you had to speak to the customer if you're entering a new market to understand what their needs that are being met and not met yet. Because if, when you enter a market, you want to do something different. You want to innovate. And the best way to do that is to understand the customer's need. So I, should, I thought that speaking with them could be really valuable. Yeah, I mean, that, I think that's just another example of how you thought about what you wanted to get out of this internship and then you went and made it happen. That's, really, that's a really a, a good approach towards the internship. Thanks a lot for sharing your experience with us. Sure.